the first thing I'm doing is I'm taking my foundation, which is two shades lighter than my skin tone. So I'm just taking any regular foundation and I'm just going to go ahead and apply it all over my skin. Next, go ahead and blend everything out. I'm using the crown brush, foundation brush, and I'm just gonna go ahead and even out my skin tone. Next, take a translucent powder or just any regular powder that you want. I'm using this one, and that is by e.l.f. So I'm just gonna go ahead and dust this product all over my face. And don't forget your neck. I'm taking the Sephora Smoky Coal Eyeliner and the color is kind of purplish and I really like it. So what I'm doing is I'm going to go ahead and dab a little bit on my finger just to warm up the color. And then I'm going to go ahead and add it all over my lid as a base. everything out what I did is I took the pointy part of the smoky coal eyeliner and I'm doing a kind of like a winged out eyeshadow I'm just gonna go ahead and fill everything in next I'm just gonna go ahead and once again blend everything out now I'm gonna go ahead and take that purple deep purple eyeshadow just dab it a little bit and I'm gonna go ahead and put it all over my lid this way it's gonna give you like a more dramatic effect and the purple is gonna show a little bit more next I'm taking that lavender color and I'm gonna go ahead and blend that lavender color all over my crease Finally, um, finally, as a highlight, I'm taking that white eyeshadow and I'm just going to go ahead and add it all over my brow bone and inner corner. Now I'm taking that Michael Todd uh, cream eyeliner that is called Persistent and that's kind of like a dark jade color. I'm taking that small little brush, it's an eyeliner brush, and I'm going to go ahead and add it the waterline, bottom eyelashes, next I'm taking that kind of like baby blue color, and I'm going to go ahead and emphasize the waterline a little bit more, so I'm just going to go ahead and take that brush, and I'm going to go ahead and swipe the color right onto right into the uh, eyeliner now take your favorite eyeliner and I'm using that one by Maybelline I'm just gonna go ahead and line my eyes top and bottom eyelashes make sure you get that waterline So that's how your eyes should look like. Now on to the fun part. I'm using Luxurious Lavender Glitter on the go. And that is Sparkling Glitter Powder. And it's by NYX. And that's how it looks like. It's a gorgeous lavender color. I'm taking a um, shader brush. I'm just going to go ahead and add a little bit all over my eyelid. By the way, I already added um, a Fix Plus on my brush. So as you guys can see, it's very dramatic, it's very glittery, I just love it. Now I'm taking the Rock and Republic Blue Eyeliner. I'm just going to go ahead and emphasize it a little bit more on my um, lower eyeliner, on the lower um, eyes. Ardell Wild Eyelashes. 
And let me show you how they look like. So those are the eyelashes that I'm going to be using today. They are very dramatic and completely, completely different. So those are my eyes with the eyelashes on. Now on to the face. I'm using Elf's Love Passion Pink Blush. And I just want to go ahead and add a, add a little bit of more color to my cheeks. So just dab a little bit all over your cheeks. Or a lot. It's Halloween. So. Next I'm taking the Milani um, Amber Nectar Luminous Powder. I'm just taking my Sigma highlighting brush and it looks like that. So I'm just going to go ahead and add, just swirl and add a little bit all over um, my cheekbones. Next I'm taking this Rimmel by Kate Moss. It's a Rimmel lipstick in number 14 and the color looks like that. It looks more like a pink it's a nude with pink undertone lipstick. Just add it all over your lips. Next, I'm taking the NYX's Dolly Pink Lip Gloss. And this will give you a little bit, a little bit of more shine to your lips. So next, I'm taking this uh, blue ribbon as a headband. So I'm just gonna go ahead and cut it. And then I'm going to go ahead and um, take this peacock feather embellish. So that's the way it looks. Looks very dramatic and I love the eyelashes. That's my favorite part. You guys, so this is the final results. I hope you guys liked it. I was having so much fun recreating this look. It's full of color, glitter, uh, feathers and all that stuff so it's pretty fun um yeah so anyways this is the final results i hope you guys like it i hope you guys try it out for this halloween have a good one i'll see you guys on the next tutorial bye